What's going on, Libra? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic, and this is going to be your reading for the week of December 25th through the 31st, 2023, so the last week of the year. So, Libra, in this reading, we're going to look at your overall general energy, some things you do not see coming, and also get some advice from your angels and spirit guides and so much more regarding the upcoming week for you, Libra. But before we begin this reading, as always, I do want to take a moment to let you know that you are very welcome here in this space with me as we go through this reading, and I really do appreciate you, Libra, in advance for taking the time to check this reading out. Now, if this general reading happens to resonate with you, definitely smash that like button. Subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates. I would also really appreciate that over here, Libra. Now, one more announcement. Personal readings are now open. Astrology readings, tarot readings. So click the link in the description box below if you want to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. So let's go ahead and pull the energy for you now, Libra. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Libra. Let's go ahead and see what we got going on here for you, Libra. That well, looks pretty good so far. Wow. Really interesting energy here, Libra, for sure. I think it's going to be a great close to the year for you. I think you're going to have a great time. But there is this almost very deep opportunity for you. It's coming through as instead of trying to change yourself, what you're going to be doing is returning to your true self, okay? And it's a very big opportunity for you to recalibrate your own opinion of yourself, your own value. Do you value yourself or do you discount yourself? Okay, so that's just what's coming through so far. So before we get into the Tarot Libra, Let's go ahead and start this reading off with some pre-shuffled oracle cards. And these oracle cards, Libra, contain the energy that you need to embody, the energy that you need more of for the upcoming week. The first one is Lady Venus. And Venus is the planet that rules the sign of Libra and Taurus, but has to do with love. It has to do with what turns you on. It's the way that you receive love. It's the way that you relate to others. It has to do with your attitude towards money and your relationships. So this is a big energy for you to be focused on. I really feel like this is you to, for you to focus on you. And the intuitive message that's coming through Libra, there's a couple things. The first thing is, is that there's a there's going to be a big change le leading into 2024 for you to love yourself just as you are, as if nothing was going to change. Because the energy that I do pick up on here um, is there could have been something happening where you say, I'll love myself when I when I change this about myself, when I reach this goal, when I do that. But I'm here to tell you there's something about you that's not changing. And if you did change it, it would be inauthentic. So some of you may be trying to change yourself in an inauthentic way to get, you know, relationships. We're going to have to check it out. Now, there's another thing, Libra, about relationships could be sending you for a little bit of a loop, okay, at this time. There could be a relationship coming in for you. I get a soulmate relationship. It could bring up a lot for you and the person you're dealing with. But let's just keep going, focusing on you for now. You have Venus and you also have Chiron. All right, so the energy you need more of is Chiron. And Chiron is the maverick, the outsider, the wounded healer. Um, it has to do, you know, Chiron was a half man, half horse and was basically rejected and was cast away. But when he was cast away, he worked on himself and he became uh, a really great healer. So what this is coming through as is to love the wounded part of yourself, Libra. This is a very clear message to me that you need to love yourself based on the things that are not going to go away, 
almost in a comical way because when we deal with Chiron energy, it's like he's the outsider, he's the sage, but it's like almost like, is this a joke? Is this guy really really giving me the information? Why does it seem weird? You know, I mean, even on this channel, the autistic mystic, very big Chiron energy, if you haven't noticed already. Here's the thing though. I really, in this message, Libra, this is a message, two things. The first thing is to love yourself and to love your own wounding. And maybe not love it, but at least learn to view it as neutral and accept it. Okay, like here's the thing. If you're a short guy, if you're under like five, six, and you resist it, your love life probably isn't gonna go good. But if you just accept it, you know, Venus, I love my wound. Yeah, I'm 5'6". It must suck to be a 5'6". I can crawl. I can, you know, I can, I'm so, you know, grounded. Like, the idea is to almost like, la like Venus is like just optimism. To love, to love your wound. Now, here's the thing as well. What I'm, What's coming through very strongly. A lot of you have a very big relationship coming in in 2024. Okay, very big relationship. But this person... <laughs> they may love your wound, but they're going to have a wound that is going to require you to love. No one's perfect, Libra. And sometimes, you know, Libra, the energy of Libra is almost perfection. If you look at your bodies, most of you have such a symmetrical body. It's all beauty and perfection. So it may be a real challenge for you to love something that seems imperfect or, you know, it seems wounded. Um, but sometimes that is what will get us the furthest. So the energy that I'm picking up on right off the bat for this week is instead of trying to change your wounding, you know, show love to it and it can become a gift. That's what I did with autism, okay? Ain't no disability. I mean, that's what the matrix labels it as, but I don't think it's a dis I think it's a superpower. And how many autistic people are there out there that feel shame, guilt, I'm not good enough because I failed the school, you know, whatever it, I, I can't, you need to view your your biggest wounding is actually your greatest blessing in disguise. But it does require you to be an alchemist to transmute it. And I sense that you're not actually going to have that much of a problem doing it this week. So, like, what is the thing that you wish you could change about yourself and say, well, maybe it actually serves a deeper purpose that I'm not aware of? Okay, so, like, just to give you a clear example as well, like, there was once a story of a fat guru. This man, he he couldn't help but put on a lot of weight, and he was a teacher. And uh, he basically realized that, you know, from a higher level, my wound, wound of being fat, is actually meant to be happening because it actually helps him reach a certain demographic of people. If he was skinny and he's like, hey, I got, I got up at 6 a.m. and I did all my workouts, it's everyone would be like, Haha, okay, we've seen this before. We don't need another, we need you, we need your uniqueness. And that's what you got going on for you. But I'm telling you, I really feel, Libra, that you're on the cusp of a really great relationship with someone. I don't know. It's not really telling. Like, we'll get into it what the details of the relationship are. I feel like new love. But there's some wound that you're going to have to accept. And it may not be easy, but it, it's like it's the best love. I mean, like for me, like when I was in school and I was like talking to like maybe someone who had like Down syndrome or like autism or whatever. I always had the best relationships with them. Like Chiron conjunct Venus, love your wound, love other people's wound. And instead of viewing it as negative, view it as a gift, Libra, because th that's what is really, that's what's holding you back, I think, here. Instead of doubt, because here's the thing, the advice, and I know I'm go going all over the place, but I think it's coming through in an empowered way that's going to help you. I the energy that Spirit's trying to tell you, Libra, is that you've been lately in this energy of, I just gotta figure out who I am. I just gotta change this maybe. I, I need to walk away from this low vibrational thing about me and then I'll be happy. And then I'll be in my destiny. But what I'm telling you is the universe is throwing you for a little bit of a loop to love your wound, okay? And if you can't love it, then accept it as neutral and maybe consider that there's a higher reason why you have this wound. But this also has to do with like being the outsider. Don't be afraid to be a little bit of a revolutionary here, Libra. Don't be afraid to like, um, don't be afraid to be looked at as stupid by other people. Don't be afraid to look bad in front of other people because I'm telling you, it's very important for your long-term mission. All right, so a lot of um, deep changes occurring. Now, the next energy that you need more of is the sixth house, work and routine. The sixth house is a certain part of an astrology chart. It's ruled by Virgo, 
So you need some Virgo energy and some work. So definitely focusing on your career and like what you're doing on a daily basis. Um, I do feel like that a lot of you will be working pretty hard for the for the week, maybe not on Christmas, maybe, you know, some of you take off, but even if you're not actually physically working because of the holidays and the end of the year, you're going to really receive a lot of downloads about your work. And intuitively, Libra, it absolutely has to do with loving wounds, loving the wounds of others or loving your own wound instead of trying to, you know, be in this Libra world of everyone's perfect, even though they're not. All right. And I'm not talking about a superficial fake love of a wound. Okay, because I've talked to many, I can, I can see the Libra frequency, right? And you know what? I'm not going to roast the Libra. I'm not going to roast the Libra today. How about that? Just go, okay. To get into the tarot, let's go ahead and start this reading off with your opportunity. Your opportunity is the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands talks about defense. It has to do with a boundary. Some of you, your biggest opportunity is going to be to set a boundary with someone who you feel is no longer deserving to be in your life. Okay, and it could be someone that you're immediately sound, surrounded by that going into the year you're going to have to put up a boundary with. We're going to have to see. But now the other thing, and, and going along with the, the main storyline for the collective Libra that I'm really getting, you want to look at your own defensiveness and resistance, Libra. Your opportunity, we'll, we'll clarify it. We will clarify this card. There, your opportunity is you may have a defense to someone that you're meant to be with in love that you view as wounded or vice versa. There could be a lot of you in your opportunities to realize that someone is putting a defense up to you against love, not because they don't love you, it's because you don't love yourself. And what I mean by loving the self is not just the good qualities in you, but the qualities that get you kicked out, ostracized, ashamed, guilt. You know, I feel like there's some love relationship. I think it's going to go through, but these are the things you're working on to, to get here or it, as you're going through it, if you're already with someone, someone can feel your defensiveness about your own, sh your own shadow. I feel like you're, you're making so much progress with it and I've really been beating you into it the last couple of months, but there could be an opportunity to look at defensiveness. We're going to have to clarify what it is, but this is what I'm picking up on. Your challenge is the five of cups. So I feel like as you go into your, because the Chiron has to do with the deepest wound. It represents the area in life that you can't really help yourself with, but that you can help other people with. So it's a bit of a trip, but your challenge is the five of cups. And I feel like as you bring love, love and beauty, you can find love and beauty in desymmetrical things. Maybe not for Libras, but as you bring your love into this wound, I do feel like there needs to be a lot of allowing yourself to be in negative emotion because you got to feel it to heal it, Libra. So allow your challenges, the five of cups, but intuitively, I feel like this is you, your challenges to go into the negative emotions, to, to clear it and to love it. Okay, Libra, because we didn't come here to be perfect. This isn't a perfect world. Okay, so I don't know. Interesting opportunity and challenge. Um, I also think your work and your career is going to take off once you can just accept yourself. Because here's the thing. When it comes to manifesting success, love, or a partner, you would think the fastest way to do that would be to change yourself. But no, the fastest way to do that is to find acceptance for what already is here. Because here's the thing. like The Chiron wound doesn't really go anywhere. I would suggest that many of you look into where Chiron is in your, in your birth chart, but I'm not going to lose a lot of you, so we're going to keep going. Here's the thing, Libra, about your overall general energy. It looks great. There's a major upgrade in emotional fulfillment, but it's like you got to go to the bottom you got to hit rock bottom before you go to the top. But for most of you, this rock bottom is internal to do with your biggest wound or a wound with someone that you're thinking about in love. you got to accept it because there's a blessing there. Here's the thing. When it comes to your overall general energy of the Queen of Wands, you have the Ten of Cups, and you have the World. This is a phenomenal way to end the year. You know, we are dealing with a weekly reading. The overall general energy could be, for many of you, having a great time with your family and loved ones. You know, there could be a real sense of upgraded... Um, emotional security with people that you're spending the holidays around. I don't know why, but there could be an, uh, like, since when is my up relationship with my family? Like, since when did that get pretty good? I don't know. But um, otherwise, Libra, there's a major upgrade to your life. There's a lot of authenticity. I feel like this is you. For some of you, this is the person that's coming in though. And it's a major upgrade. I do feel like there's a fire sign. You know, whether you're connecting with them now or early 2024, Libra, there is a, there's an upgraded relationship for most of you with a fire sign. For others of you, this is your own energy. You need to bring more passion 
into your work. Because remember, the energy that you need more of is the sixth house of work. So maybe looking at how you're wounded around work and love. Uh, and maybe like, yes, so let's just keep going. This is where a lot of the work gets done as well. Because um, in what you don't see coming for this week, Libra, you have the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Hermit, and you have the Justice card. Your legacy is about to be set in stone after some sort of deep reflection. Your legacy, your long-term goals, there's going to be something put right. There, In what you don't see coming, there's a major, you know, a, this is about reasoning with yourself, sitting in a dark room, potentially reflecting deep thoughts, downloads from the universe, solitude, taking time out for yourself. And it has to do with, I feel your career, because we have the sixth house energy. There's a major download about your legacy. And it definitely puts something right. You know, the Justice card is all about balance to the realm of thought. Okay, this also could have to do with a bit of a legal situation. If some of you are dealing with a legal situation, I do think you'll be okay. Justice to the Ten of Pentacles. Your money's okay. Side message for some of you. But um, I don't know what this is. For some of you, this is going to be Libra around the person that you're dealing with. And it won't really have as much to do with you. Um, Chiron and Venus. It's just really standing out to me. You know, Chiron conjunct Venus, and then you have the sixth house. So let's just keep going. When it comes to uh, when it comes to what you don't see coming, or excuse me, your advice from spirit, you have the two of pentacles, the eight of cups, and also the wheel of fortune here, Libra. When it comes to your advice from spirit, so I really feel like this is you letting go of the indecisive energy and moving into your destiny or a major opportunity. Okay, Libra, and you know, this is the classic Libra energy of indecision, of juggling many things at once, in, you know, inability to really come to a conclusion about something about yourself. The advice is to walk away from this energy. You see how the Eight of Cups frequency is walking away from that Two of Pentacles, and it's moving right in to the, the Wheel of Fortune, which has to do with a major opportunity. It's a portal of energy. It has to do with your the wheel of your fate and destiny starting to spin. So many of you... I really feel like if you get the 25th of December to the to the 31st of December right, you're going to set yourself up. So it does seem to me like this whole, and I'm getting chills as I'm saying this, this whole week, this whole last week of December for you is about recalibrating your work with your career and not being afraid to be an outsider, Libra. Not being afraid of it. Okay, because at the end of the day, the outsiders are the ones who paved the way forward. You know, if... Um, if everyone just conformed, we would have no expansion. And it's very powerful when a Libra does this. Now, there's also something, and I can't believe I missed this, but as a Libra, right, you're here to balance out the world. And there is something here about looking at people who maybe, you know, are less fortunate than you. And during perhaps this holiday season, sending them love. Like Chiron has to do with the wounded, you know, people with their deepest wound. Sending love to people's deepest wound or your own deepest wound during the holidays. But this is deeper than what I'm saying because it extends into your work and routine. And I feel that if you can give yourself this love, just love yourself. And, you know, I think I do have to explain how to do that. There is a it may be very challenging. It's, I know it's obnoxious for me to just love yourself. How do I do that? Well, one way you can do that is you can book a personal reading with me and I'll tell you how to do it. <laughs> the other way to do it for everyone, just and it, I have to give it uh, a very consolidated thing for everyone here, is to find acceptance. Try to find acceptance for the things that you disapprove of in yourself. So like, what's the number one thing you disapprove of in yourself? Uh, maybe you know I didn't do well in school. And so I, I, I just that it, I didn't graduate college. It is haunting me. Well, maybe you could realize the whole education system is, from a certain perspective, rigged. So it wasn't designed to bring out your intelligence. It was designed to make you stupid. So therefore, you actually succeeded in a certain way by not falling for the system, right? So there's something you need to rewire. All right. So now let's go ahead and get into the clarification portion of this reading. I think this is a really big, I just get like a buzz in the air for you. And uh, let's go ahead and see what this is about. Let's go ahead and clarify why the world card is here. What is the upgrade, the end of a cycle for you? I feel like this is the end of you doubting yourself because the way that I stopped doubting myself, like with, the, with this whole theme, I can relate to this reading for sure. The way that I stopped doubting myself was instead of trying to change, like I said before, I accepted all of my wounding. 
I accepted, and this is something astrology helped me do. Before I was trying to be logical, I had to realize based on my own astrology chart that I'm not a creature of logic and, you know, math, math and logic. I don't do it. I do much more inspiration, imagination, and spiritual things. And before I was trying to be like, oh, I'm this logical guy. It's like, you don't know yourself. So maybe there's something that you don't even want to look at, you know? So I don't know. Uh, yes, like I said, let's clarify the world. Why is the world card here for you, Libra? The world card in your overall general energy is clarified by the Page of Pentacles, the Death card, the Knight of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. There is definitely a speeding up to your career here. Um, you're done doing the dirty work. Okay, the page of pentacles for me is the sign of like, it's the youthful energy in a career or a work situation. It's, this, it's the person who has no status. It's the person who has to do the dirty work. You may be doing that to close the year, but as we get into 2024, the world card is clarified by the knight of cups and the eight of wands. There is, there's an upgraded love situation and it's what I sensed with the world card right next to the queen of wands, Libra. There is an upgraded love situation that may be coming in very fast and may be full of love and idealism. Now, it is going to require deep transformation, um, but it, I'm getting multiple messages. So, yes, there, there's a lot of good things in love and both career coming in. I think you're done doing the... It's like you're ready to take action is what I can say. I think that if you've been waiting to plan something in your career or you've been waiting to work harder or you've been waiting to stop doubting yourself, now is the time to stop doubting yourself. But let's... Let's get some information on this person, perhaps. Why is the Queen of Wands here? And if you're a woman, Libra, please just make it a man. You could have a... If you are a woman, there could be a, a masculine, you know, doesn't have to be a fire sign, but could just be authentic, fiery, full of passion, life sexual, uh, a lot of energy. If there's a man coming in, they could, you know, have some sort of feminine traits about them. You know, if you are attracting a man, Libra, you may not be attracting the most manly man. Some of you could be, though, and it could just be make the queen of wands the king of wands. But let's say, I just feel like well, this is about your person coming in for you. Um, what's going on with the queen of wands and your overall general energy? And it's jumped right onto the wheel of fortune. Yeah, this is you and the person in partnership. Absolutely. It's going to... There could be long distance. There could be something about a, a, a long distance coming in. Uh, all right. So first of all, the Queen of Wands is clarified by the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. You have two court cards coming together. So this is a relationship. For some of you out there, I mean... Um, there could even be like a same-sex relationship if you happen to be like a lesbian woman or, you know, um, interesting. I just feel like there's a good partnership coming in Libra for you. It just I just needed that confirmation. Let's keep going though because it's going to tell me more about it as we go along. I do want to clarify this. You know, why is the Seven of Wands your opportunity? Because for some of you, I, I, I feel like it's... You do need to put a boundary up with someone. I don't feel like this is in love. I feel like this is either a friend... Someone you're like, just someone floating around, you need to put up a boundary with. For, for a lot of you, the seven of wands and your opportunity is really you looking at your own defensiveness to your biggest wound and how can you love that wound instead of trying to push it away, which then makes people reject you. Because there is this message that if you feel you're being rejected by someone in the outside world due to like a wound or whatever, it's impossible for anyone to reject you on their own. You first have to reject yourself and then you're a vibrational match to rejection. So, I mean, yes. So why is the Seven of Wands here in your opportunity? Well, first of all, it's clarified... Mm, yes. First of all, it's clarified by the Ace of Pentacles here. So you want to look at um, defensiveness around a new beginning. You know, why are you holding back something new, you know, a, a new physical relationship offer, what I keep sensing for you with a fire sign for most of you, for a lot of you. Um, it's also clarified by the Fool and the Page of uh, Cups. And there is a little bit of sketchy energy. So 
with this energy, I feel like this is you dropping your defenses and being open to a new beginning, even if it feels immature, you know, even if you know, I'm not really ready. You're never going to be ready, Libra. So I feel like whether this is a new relationship that's coming in very soon, if it hasn't already, um, this is once again, the fool is willing to look like a fool, and that is his superpower, the sacred fool. So instead of being defensive and, and you know trying to hide. <clears throat> who you really are. You just got to put it out there and let the chips fall where they may is really what, because I feel like you're going to be very successful. And the only thing holding you back is like this indecision thing, right? <clears throat> but then there's also this thing about love and like, I do feel that <sighs> there's a love situation where both people are going to be triggering each other's wounds. But if you both accept each other as you are, as if you were never going to change anything, then the relationship will work. But it's a different style. You may not be used to it potential. All right. <clears throat> now let's clarify with a five of cups is here in your challenge, Libra. Let's go ahead and do that. Why is a five of cups your challenge? Three of Pentacles, uh, pay. Why does the Page of Cups keep coming out? Okay. <clears throat> Hold on. Oh, yeah. Wow. All right. Well, interestingly enough, the Five of Cups <clears throat> in your challenge is clarified by the Two of Cups in reverse, the Five of Wands in reverse, the Page of Swords in reverse. All right, well, there could be some sort of weird situation in love that's coming up for this week. <clears throat> There's a weird intuitive message that I think you're going to have a challenge from the 25th to the 31st of someone that you're very interested, they're very interested in you. There could be a there could be a, a little bump in the road, and it could have to do with other people. It could, you know, and for some of you, this has nothing, this, is, this has to do with you not thinking you're, you're good enough when it comes to, you know, you peeping the competition. The competition is so much better than me. All these people don't have big wounds. All these people are so perfect, etc. in life. And I feel like this is an immature attitude that is being dissolved. Because most people, when it comes to success, and we look at, you know, big movie stars, you know, whoever that you look up to, whoever it is, maybe someone not in the limelight, they generally have a great self-acceptance. And I feel like this is something that you're learning, Libra. So with that being said, um, I do just want to clarify why the Wheel of Fortune is here. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here in your advice? Wheel of Fortune is clarified. Send love to your biggest wound, Libra. You have the Nine of Cups here. There's something here that if you do not accept a wound within yourself, okay, I'm a little bit like weird. I'm wounded. I'm an outsider, but I have wisdom, okay? This is what you need to go into, okay? Like your biggest opportunity is to deal with some sort of underlying energy that has to do with accepting your own wound or someone else's wound that's really gonna take you far in work, but for many of you, it's also connected to a relationship. So everything is tied in together for you right now, Libra. I think there's gonna be a lot of breakthroughs for you this week. It will be accompanied with resistance, but ultimately, I think you're gonna have a great week. With that being said, I'll talk to you next time, Libra.